Warren Buffett has often referred to markets as being both a, a weighing machine, uh, a voting machine in the near term and a weighing machine in the long term. And Trion's history is that they're very invested in the result of the weighing machine. Uh, Trion is a genuinely longer term oriented organization and they focus on intrinsic value and long term cash flow and really the defensibility of consumer brands. And that's what I think they bring to Disney. So why do you think Disney's board is so reluctant to bring him on board, literally? Well, uh, seldom does a company welcome an activist into the boardroom. And, and while it try and rightly calls its own strategy constructivism, uh, because they do believe in trying to create brand health and, and sustainable growth instead of the more uh, the slash and burn strategies employed by some activists. Uh, nonetheless, it's an opinionated, engaged voice in a boardroom which uh, has been pretty deferential to senior management for quite a long time. What about some of these proposals, like what he just laid out, getting away from a more matrix organization into a more accountable place where, where you have different business leaders accountable for their P&L, like what we saw at Procter & Gamble? Is that something that can work at Disney? Is that, is that a reason for the underperformance? Interestingly, in the last 24 hours, uh, much of the feedback from investors has been uh, both welcoming an engaged shareholder-driven voice um, and Tryon's track record to Disney, but also um, observing that the Tryon deck and press release were uh, heavy on observations and light on prescription. And I think that's quite deliberate. Uh, they're sophisticated and they understand that they're dealing with a highly capable senior management team. Uh, they want to be a collaborative voice in the boardroom to try to help make sure that the next few years go better than uh, the last few. But they're not trying to micromanage the media strategy dynamics here. So what is your expectation right now for the stock and how this will play out? I know you, li you like Disney and have a $117 price target. Is that no matter what happens? No. Um, all of these recommendations are, are probabilistic bets. Uh, in this case, um, I'll build it for you. Uh, we think that Disney's underlying earnings power is about $7 per share, and that the question over multiple years is not whether Disney gets there, but how they get there. And um, it, the stock looks expensive in the near term. Uh, our, our estimate for 2023 earnings per share, a, a conventional valuation metric, is $4.30. Um, however, uh, the contribution to that earnings number from all the businesses that aren't theme parks, $60 billion of revenue is just $4 billion of operating profit. So the whole portfolio, all the video businesses, the movie businesses, excluding theme parks, has an operating margin in, on the next 12 months basis of about 7%. There's nothing like that in the S&P 500, a business with $60 billion of revenue, differentiated right. global brands, and a 7% operating margin.